Hey, hey, and welcome to this go-to guide for if you're thinking about starting a wrestling-based pick fed or stop-motion show, this is something that a few people have wanted me to do for a while, and while I've done similar videos about this in the past, such as my behind-the-scenes video, this is a less rambly, more concise and simplified guide for any of you out there who want to start a pick fed or stop-motion show but have no idea where to start. This is even a video for people who have no desire to start their own show, but maybe are interested in how I go about doing it. I'll split this guide into sections. Section 1 is going to be writing the show, section 2 is going to be making the show, and section 3 is going to be editing the show. So if you want to skip ahead to any of those sections, go ahead. But I'm going to go through things step by step. That just makes it easier to understand. So, without further ado, let's get started with step 1, which is planning a show and story. This is where you need to start. The main question I'm asked is how do I write storylines? I'm actually going to write a pick fed show from scratch right now to give you a general idea of the process of coming up with storylines. And some tips for coming up with ideas, watch a lot of wrestling. Look at some of the old episodes of Raw from 98-99, some of the old Nitros as well, some old ECW, even some modern stuff like New Japan. See how the way NXT is laid out in terms of match order and look at different styles and show structures for inspiration is what I'd say. Also, try and think of fantasy matches. For example, CM Punk vs Stone Cold Steve Austin hasn't happened in real life. Same goes for Shawn Michaels and AJ Styles. Try and steer clear of matches that have been done over and over again in real life, like John Cena versus Randy Orton, for instance. Unique matches to your show will make it more likely that viewers will stick around. So to start off with, let's call the example fed uh, Pick Fed Wrestling, or whatever name you choose. Remember to make it a good one since you don't want to change your mind after you've already made episodes. You'll want a roster of about 10 to 20 people, enough so that you have enough different matches, but also enough so that storylines don't become too complicated for the viewer. Have a variety of characters as well, as I find the wider variety of gimmicks makes writing storylines a whole lot easier. For my example, I'm picking 12 wrestlers. Six regular guys, who are going to be John Cena, Sami Zayn, Seth Rollins, Rey Mysterio, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Daniel Bryan, and six more gimmicky wrestlers. Those are going to be Bray Wyatt, The Undertaker, Elias, Kane, Umaga, and Mankind. The centerpiece and driver of stories, more often than not, is the World Championship. That is the motivation of every wrestler on that roster, and that's the main driver of stories. You can add more titles later, maybe a mid-card title, tag division and women's division, once you're more settled, but for now, keep it simple. As I said, you just started. So when I started NLW, I had a tournament to crown a new champion. That's because I find it's an easy way to introduce characters and stories onto your show. Keep your stories basic to start with, I'd say, and I cannot stress that enough. You want people to be engaged, not confused as to what's going on in your show, especially if it's brand new. When laying out a show structure, a good approach is to have three matches and segments per show, with backstage pieces and interviews to act as in-betweens for your matches. As for pay-per-views, it's good to have one after every three or four shows, so it allows for stories to develop and have a payoff at the special event. One key tip I would say is plan ahead, otherwise writing your show will be a mess. Write the match card for the pay-per-view first, and then write the shows that take place before the pay-per-view, so you have an idea of where stories are heading while you're writing the shows. And I know it seems like running before you know how to walk, but trust me, writing the pay-per-view first makes the process of writing shows super easy. I'm going to have four matches at the pay-per-view, let's call it the event for instance. And you know, it's not going to be the WrestleMania 17 of stop motion, but it'll do for this example. At the event, I've decided that the main match is going to be a fatal four-way for the World Championship, and the wrestlers in that match are going to be the winners of qualifiers. So there you go, I've already made it easier to make matches on the shows. It's going to be a couple of qualifiers that are going to pad out the first couple of episodes. And for that event, the four matches I've got are going to be John Cena, Undertaker, Daniel Bryan, and Shinsuke Nakamura competing in a fatal four-way for the new world title. It's going to be Bray Wyatt versus Seth Rollins, Elias versus Sami Zayn, and Mankind versus Rey Mysterio. So we've got the match card written out, but how are we going to get there? Well, let's go and write the first episode of PFW to try and make things make sense heading in towards the first event that I've planned. So here's a quick mock-up of show one. This is how I tend to plan out NLW step by step. And this is basically how I tend to plan things. As you can see, I have the signature at the start, then the intro, rundown of the card at the start, and then into the first match of the tournament where I'm going to establish face and heel dynamics. You could also do this with boos and cheer sound effects, but for now, make things clear for the audience. For instance, Mankind is going to cheat in this match, therefore he's the heel. Cena's going to fight the odds, he's going to be the face, that kind of thing. Then we have a backstage segment. This is designed to set up a Rollins Wyatt match at the pay per view. Same goes for the Zayn Elias segment. We're going to get hype for a new character with Omaga. 
One thing I would say though, don't introduce too many new characters early on. You want to make things clear and simple for your audience to understand early on, but it's good to have a couple of hype segments here and there. Then a strong main event. Undertaker's going to face Bray Wyatt, and then the Wyatt Rollins saga is going to continue, and that's going to set up that match for the pay-per-view. Finally, one key tip I have is give your show a unique style. Make it stand out from others. It's good to take inspiration from other feds, such as Captain McKay Random's videos. They have quite a gritty Attitude Era style. Uh, My Damn Toys, he has quite a slick, modern-looking pick fed. Uh, don't outright copy ideas, obviously, but it's good to have a look at examples to help mold your show into the way you want it to be. Personally, because I grew up during the Ruthless Aggression era, that's the kind of inspiration I take. That kind of storyline writing style and the kind of wrestlers I use is based off of that. Take inspiration, don't outright copy. Those are the two main things. Make your show unique to others that are already existing. So now that I've covered writing storylines, that was step one. Let me know if there's anything I've missed out or if there's any more questions you want answered, and I'll try and get back to you. For now, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like it, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.